He's a successful businessman and a self-made entrepreneur. He started his career as an architecture and now he's running his own construction company. He is Azam Saeed. So let's meet with him and let's see what's his definition of success. Success is something, uh, some achievement of your life which is endorsed by others, which is acknowledged by others. Mm -hmm. That's success. Mm -hmm. When people say that you have to work hard without considering what others think about you. That's so, wrong. That's wrong. So what's your perception about that? You know, you, I mean, if you get up in the morning, you might see your sweeper working harder than you. Mm -hmm. You might see some neighbor who's working on a building harder than you. Mm -hmm. But uh, if people are not noticing that, people are not endorsing that, Mm. This effort is useless. Okay. Yeah. You know, so and I, I, I go to my office, to my workplace, to my client, wherever I go. Mm. I spend just one one hour or some tasks, and it's uh, endorsed by hundreds of people. Mm. Okay. That's and good. what if you are making or doing something really good for the society? So, how do you feel about that? Good for the society. Yeah. You know, there is a very strange thing. Mm. Mm, I would really like to share with you and with the audience over here that you know, you never do anything free for anybody. Mm -hmm. Even when you do something for the society, you always have interest in it. Mm -hmm. Nobody does anything for the society. Okay. Nobody does anything for anybody actually. Mm -hmm. So, when you're doing something good for the society, which is of course good, which is of course, they are getting out of it, they are earning or whatever, you know, they are getting some comfort or mm. achievement. It's, it's really good. But at the same time, you're also getting out of it. Yeah. But you know, people who are really good for, who are doing really good for the society, sometimes they are not making money. It's not making money. Okay. They might be making name. Okay. They might be so making either they are doing something for the purpose of getting goodwill or sometime for the money. Anything, anything that is uh, worthy to them, which is important for me. Like, you know, I'm earning name is important for me. It's mm -hmm. not always money. So today, if you have two choices, number one, you feel successful and number two, you look successful. So which one would you prefer? I would prefer to look successful. Mm -hmm. Because and what if looking... You're not yeah. Looking successful is uh, that people will uh, respect you and they will give you importance. Mm. Great. And what do you think that are you still at a stage where you can create your create opportunities for your own self? Of course, you always create opportunity for yourself, mm. and um, you have to actually scratch opportunity yourself. Mm -hmm. People don't will give you opportunities. Yeah, so we, we still consider that you are really a successful person, a very successful businessman. So do you think that it is because of the someone's sport? It could be your mother, or it could be your wife, or it could be anyone. Yeah, it can. It could be anyone. Without people's support, you are zero. Mm. So it can was, be stranger. Okay. Who was your sport in your life? Many people. Okay, would you like I mean, to name few people? I mean like uh, right from your childhood up to whatever you are today. There is uh, like uh, involvement of so many people to bring you at this point. Right? Starting, of course, every kid starts from the parent, from mother, from father. Mm. But as they grow up, you know, they go farther and farther, and there are so many other people, unknown people, who support you mm. without any interest. Yeah. So, so yeah, I mean, they are uncountable. So. And we all know that success is not a very straight path on which you have to walk. It's like you, you have to see ups and downs there. And people usually make a lot of mistakes. Success, people say like uh, failure are also the part of the success. So considering that, have you ever learned from your mistake? And what would you suggest to your next generation that do they make mistake to learn from it or not? Actually, you make <coughs> mistake a lot of times. But you never learn from them. Mm -hmm. Because every time you come across something new, you, you make some new mistake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> every, time, every time the things are not the same. So there is a very common proverb. People say that learn from your mistake. 
I don't think so. People, this is this is human tendency. They never learn from their mistake. Okay. Adam never learned his mistake. He was kicked out of heaven by God. Hmm. But he never learned. We are we are children of Adam. We keep doing mistakes again and again. Yeah, it's another perception. Okay. And how much money does mean success? How much money? Like yeah. How much money a person should have if, if we have to consider that person is a successful person? So, is there mm-hmm. any specific amount that you consider this is the amount that he should have? Well, if if you know the amount mm-hmm. of money, then you're not a successful. I mean, I should not know how much money I have. Then I'm yeah, successful. Yeah, you can count the money, so it means you don't have that much. Yes. So you can consider yourself yeah. rich. Yeah, great. I should forget, you know, in which bank I have how much money. Mm-hmm. That's my success. Yeah. and uh, obviously you have spent a, a very big part of your life uh, so how did you really push through the worst time that you have ever seen in your life well it's it's always you know the pressure of the world that is a push in your life to move ahead mm-hmm. like pressure from your family pressure from your friends pressure from your uh, the hangouts you know pressure of yourself mm. to be, uh, become something so until unless you have pressure you don't work hard you don't try to achieve some goal or you know yeah you never think of success so these worst time are the real teachers they push you to work hard of It's course good. okay great okay uh you know uh, now a days if we talk about the people so they are not very they are not working really hard you know they they are involved in so many things which are not very productive for example they play video games they are wasting their time on youtube they are wasting their time on facebook and even just because they are using all these gadgets and all these applications so they mm. sleep late and that's the reason they also wake up late in the morning so mm. what do you think is there any relationship between the success and the time when you wake up in the morning well it depends uh, the pressure you have on your head if the pressure has a demand to wake up early you you should wake up early if you, you, the pressure does, is not that much mm-hmm. you can wake up late that's okay okay so even if you are getting up late so it doesn't mean you're not going to get the success no no the success, success has nothing no relationship success success sleeping. success has a, if you go a little deep into life and a little deep into the happenings around you success has very close relationship with few very strange things mm. uh like i would say the words similar to success are <coughs> access mm. yeah the word similar to success are recess the word uh similar to say obsess mm so you need to have all these things to have success mm-hmm. you should have access to the things you should take a recess from the things mm. and you should have you should be obsessed with something yeah so this is all you know this is intense yeah you need to work intense so i think all these things are related mm. and you know if we listen to any successful person so they usually say that we had those habits we had those things which we used to do and that's why we are successful what do you think are the qualities or the habits that a successful person or a person who wants to become <coughs> a successful person he should have what are you know, the habits this is a very strange thing you're telling me i think i don't think so a lot of people say this they know we had the habits whenever you know when we are we are growing up we go to a bookshop we get fascinated with the books which are titled the habits of great man yeah the uh, how to become successful <laughs> how to become famous we get very fascinated mm-hmm. and you know especially at the teen age or when you're growing up or when you just started a professional career we bring a lot of such books to our home and we study that yeah but you believe me you get nothing out of that mm you get nothing there are no habits of a successful man okay it's only and only his uh, his own intellect that makes him successful 
It's mm. not the habits. Some I've seen many people who are loser. They have very bad habits. Yeah. They're very successful. Like many people say, Donald Trump is the most craziest person. Yeah. <laughs> but I've seen in US, he has uh, Trump towers. Mm. He has choppers. He has you know limousines. Yeah. So, I mean, like people who so think that... there are that, no specific habits no, that... I mean, beside becoming... He is so notorious and he has strange uh, ways to act. He is President of United States. Yeah. <laughs> so, there are no habits. Exactly. And when you were saying that people buy a book about the seven habits of successful, hmm. most successful people in the world, so you wanted to say that don't read those type of the books. But what do you think about the reading? Does reading has any connection of with the Of course. Success? Hmm. You should not read those books, but you should read the books of the people who who have been great in history. Hmm. You come to know how they have been approaching life, what they think about life. Um, I mean, you can see in the writing, you can see the personality of any person. Hmm. So I think it's, it's if you're not, you don't have a reading habit, that's not good. Hmm. You should have, but it doesn't have to be every time book. You can have a reading habit good on the internet and on the digital medias. Yeah. doesn't have to be a book, but uh, you should have a reading habit. So, nowadays you have earned the fame in the business world. And plus you have earned a lot of money as you are wearing a tag here right now. Uh, yeah. So, uh, considering these facts, is there something that still keeps you awake at night? Of course. The fear of losing all that. Mm. Because, uh, you know, I think uh, anything that you see over here, this this mobile or anything, mm. the time to take, to make this, the time and effort to get this product made mm. is hell of a time, hell of yeah. effort. But to break this is just few seconds. Yeah. Just few seconds. So I think uh, the one of the one of the habit I would say or one of the feature of successful person is that he is always careful concerned about mm. that he doesn't lose all that yeah it takes flick of time this you blink your eye and you can lose mm. but still so. some people say that you have to fight with your fears is it in a different perspective mm, nobody can fight with the fear mm. The fear is fear because uh, the fear of losing is uh, you is is by birth. Mm. You know, when you when your mom puts you on the floor to start walking, you have a fear to fall mm. down. So this never ends till your death. But still, you have, in few situations, you cop up with your fear. You never. You actually. You, it's it's because of the fear that you try to be successful. Mm. Fear to go down. Fear to be snubbed by the people. Fear to be insulted by the people. Mm. Yeah. Fear of uh, you know losing a game. That is the key to the success. Mm. If you don't live with fear, then then you you <laughs> keep sleeping at home. <laughs> yeah. So fear is very important part of the life. Mm, great. Okay, when it comes to the point when you have to select your profession or your career, so does fate or your destiny plays any role there or you have to select it wisely? Mm, faith and destiny has nothing to do with that. Mm -hmm. You have to be very wise when you are selecting your profession and, and uh, again, you know, because what I think is you live with the people so you have to care about people so you should listen to what people are saying mm. and given giving opinion and you know suggestions to you to select this career this will of mm. so I think you should be very wise you should listen to everybody all the pros and cons and then you should decide about the career destiny and faith has nothing to do with okay that. great so what is that something in which Azam Said is world class, but people have not yet realized that? <laughs> well, world class is slightly a bigger word. I don't know. I'm. I don't know. I'm world class or not. But um, this much I know that people cannot know what I am right now. Mm. 
this is the skill I have. You cannot uh, judge that what I am right now. Yeah. Is there any suggestion that you would like to give to 20 years old as I'm Said? Of course. Mm. Well, you know, 28, 20 years of age, uh, I cannot compare myself with other people, but I would like genuinely like to advise to 20 year age people of the majority of our mm -hmm. nation is that um, you should, whatever you do in your life, you should be very, very careful about what people think about that. Mm. Because generally, you know, we hear so many people that it doesn't matter what people think about, that's wrong. Yeah. It does matter. Um, you sooner or later you discover that, you know, uh, all the decisions that you have taken uh, without considering what people think, mm. they will hit you back badly. Very badly. Yeah. At the age so of I, I would I would suggest to the Azam say that twenty years of age to he should not have done many things which he did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which hit him back. Yeah, exactly. And he should be considering the responses of the people that yes, he's going to get. That's very important. That is important. That's what yeah, initially I've people learned. People believe that it's our life. We have to we have to spend it the way we like it. And they yeah. just don't consider it. Then close them. yourself in the room and you spend your life. Yeah. You cannot do that. You, you have like to, that. you have, I mean, without people, you, you have no life. Exactly. Ask some, uh, some prisoner in the jail mm. who's living in a solitude. Ask him. Yeah. He will say, just, you know, give me freedom. I want to go and mix with the people. Mm. I want to live with the people and when he goes and he tries to mix up with the people they won't mix up with him because they will say you're a prisoner mm. yeah. that is a lesson for him so you always have to take care of the people yes, who are related of with course. you of course you have to con be considerate about people never think you know what people think about it I don't care that's wrong yeah. if you don't care they don't care too <laughs> yeah they're least bothered they have so many other things to do in life Okay, uh, so just as you were saying that don't read the books which are talking about the habits of the successful mm -hmm. businessman but still you were saying there are so many books that a person should read. So mm. what are the books that you would recommend to the people or to the young generation to read nowadays? I would suggest them to read three type of books. First, we should read the books, uh, the autobiography or the history of the people who are successful in life. Mm. Uh, that will teach you, you know, how to go about it. Secondly, you should read uh, novels, English mm. or Urdu, because the novels, there is a very, very special teaching of how people act. Mm. The novels are basically taken from our society. Mm. And it's it's sort of complete drama, what's happening, who's coming in, going. So actually you learn from the scenes, you learn from their temperament, from their reaction. That's very mm. important. Yeah. And third book is that you should uh, read is, I would say, the religious books. Yeah. Because they teach you to be a good person. Yeah. So if you read uh, 100, 100 times you read uh, some book, it's only just, you know, two to three percent of that book that you're absorbing actually. Yeah. So I think I would suggest the young generation to read all these three types of books. Yeah. And also they work for their spiritual health. Yeah. Yeah, of yeah. course. You know, the third type of book will yeah. guide you through the spiritual and that's yeah. very important. Yeah. So, uh, was there any failure in your life that you believe have made your life more successful or more better? Well, there have been very many failures. Actually, without a failure, you cannot uh, move on in your life. Mm. A failure is a, is a teacher, a complete teacher in your life. And uh, I have uh, some passions like my favorite games, which is um, horse riding, mm -hmm. chess, and uh, cards. Mm. So in all these games, you tumble a lot. 
you lose on you you're riding a horse there is a chance you fall down the horse yeah exactly the horse can fall on you yeah <laughs> the fall the falling of the horse is just like falling of a society on you yeah and similarly in chess you know you mm-hmm. no matter how smart you are you have to be careful that they can beat you at any time at any point yeah exactly this is you and, and same you same with the cards you know you don't know what your uh, opponent is holding hmm yeah so with these three games i've learned a lot in my life okay that, so that you know failure you have to be prepared all the time for the failure yeah i wanted to ask you a personal question though why every time you play chess with me <laughs> why, why you are the loser <laughs> why you why every time you do the game <laughs> Well, I think after this interview, people can easily judge who is the loser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they would. Because you know what I've mostly heard is that uh, looking successful is better than being successful. Yeah. <laughs> so if you if you look, you're looking big. Hmm. So that's more important that you're big. Yeah, and I also I would also like to suggest people that they should start playing chess. Yeah. It gives you critical thinking of abilities. Course. Yeah, it's a very good game. Yeah. Yeah. Chess cards and riding I think that. I mean everybody that's what I've said that you know success <laughs> as linked with the other words that I've just told you that like access you have to have access to all this. Mm. Yeah. And again, you know, this is this is where we have just we just talked about the faith. That I have faith that you know access to things is just not in your control. Hmm. It's something by fortune, by destiny, which you were saying in in some other. That everybody doesn't have access to all these things. Yeah. Because uh, you, I mean, it's all by luck. Yeah. But at least they can make an effort to get access to these things. So, Azam Sai, is there any suggestion that you would like to give to the people who are going to become successful in future? Yes, I would. I would suggest them to keep a very, very profound eye on their surroundings, mm. on the people they meet, on the activities they they do in life, and on the happenings around themselves. Mm. They should keep an eye on that. So that will shape up their character. That will shape up their career. That will shape up their future. If you don't, you are not aware of of your surroundings and and the happenings around you. Then I don't think so. You can make up easily. Yeah. Well, thank you so very much, Azam Sayed, for giving us your definition of success. But now we have another segment, <laughs> and in that segment we are going to ask you three riddles. Okay, three questions. <laughs> If you would answer those questions, mostly I fail in that anyway. But yeah. I try. But 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 this time, if you answer three or four riddle questions, so it means you will get a chance to have a coffee with our team. Mm-hmm. Okay, sure. <laughs> yeah, I would love to do anything for the coffee, especially for a free coffee. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> where yeah, I don't great. have to pay. Great. So my first question is: so What is that thing that you can hold without touching and without saying that? patience can you hold your patience yes yeah we can yeah your first answer is right moving forward to the second question what is that thing that starts with t ends with t and has t in it tit for tat <laughs> no 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 i'm saying that starts with t ends with t and has t in it t what t a tea cup of tea no no cup of tea doesn't end with tea you well, know of course like there are so many words actually no 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 let me say my question again what is that thing that starts with tea ends with tea and has tea in it sorry i can't <laughs> it's the tea pot Ha <laughs> ha, I said T. Of course, what you said, no T. Mm. Anyway, okay. So, what has to be broken before it can be used? What has to be broken before it can be used? Let's see. What has to be broken? Silence. No, no, no. 
but it has to be broken once it can be used. We are talking about usage. I don't know. <laughs> I'm always bad at that. An egg, you know. <laughs> oh. Okay. Anyway, that's right. Yeah. So it was a wonderful session with Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I hope that people who were listening or who were watching this video, they are going to learn a lot from you. But can I make a request? Yeah, please. I have failed the readers, but I still want a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there are so many things in life that you have to learn. You know, <laughs> you can ask. You cannot ask for them. That's what. That's what you know. Successful man is that even if he fail, that he he tries to get what no, he no, was. No, you have lost the coffee. We are extremely sorry for that. We have lost it. <laughs> so thank you so very much for your words. Thanks again. Take okay. care. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Good luck.